Hello students, I hope all of you are fine and studying properly. In my last video, I have done sums of 4H and today I am going to start 4I. And here the sums are based on upstream and downstream. Now before starting the exercise, let me give you basic idea about upstream and downstream. Now what is a stream? The moving water in a river is called stream. If speed of water is zero, then it is considered as still water. So sometime in some situation, they may use the term still water, then we have to consider speed of the water is zero. And if it is given stream, then water is flowing with certain velocity. Now in case of upstream, we can say when boat is flowing in opposite direction to the stream, suppose water is flowing in this direction with a speed of x km per hour, and this is the direction of boat. That means boat is moving in a direction opposite to the direction of stream. In that case, net speed will be y minus x because speed of the boat must be more than the speed of the stream, otherwise it cannot go this way. In case of downstream, when boat is flowing in the same direction as the stream, suppose stream is flowing in this direction with a speed of x km per hour and boat is also moving in the same direction with a speed of y km per hour. In that case, net speed will be x plus y. So you have to remember it that during downstream speed will be x plus y whereas in case of upstream speed will be y minus x. I hope these terms are clear. Let me start sums of 4i. Here question number 1 is the speed of a boat in still water is 5 km per hour. It can go 15 km upstream and 20 km downstream in 5 hours. Find the speed of the stream. As we are to find the speed of the stream, so we can consider let the speed of the stream be x km per hour and as given in the question, speed of the boat in still water is 5 km per hour. Suppose this is the direction of stream and this is the direction of boat. Here it is given that speed of the stream is x km per hour and speed of the boat is 5 km per hour. So during upstream, stream is flowing in this direction and boat is moving in the opposite direction. So net speed will be 5 minus x. As I told you, speed of the boat must be more than the speed of the stream. Otherwise, boat cannot move in this direction. So net speed will be 5 minus x. So here speed is 5 minus x kilometer per hour. Distance as given in the question is 5 kilometer. And we know distance equal to speed into time. So time will be distance by speed. So time taken T1 will be distance which is 5 divided by 5 minus x hours. Now during downstream, this is the direction of stream and this is the direction of boat. So net speed will be x plus 5. So here speed is 5 plus x kilometer per hour. As given in the question, distance is 20 kilometer. So time taken will be distance by speed. So it will be 20 by 5 plus x hours. As given in the question, total time taken during upstream and downstream is 5 hours. So T1 plus T2 will be 5. T1 we know it is 5 by 5 minus x plus T2 is 20 by 5 plus x equals to 5. Now from numerator we can take 5 common then we are left with 1 by 5 minus x plus 4 by 5 plus x equals to 5. Now from these two I can take LCM 5 minus x into 5 plus x. This LCM divided by 5 minus x will be 5 plus x. So 5 plus x into 1 will be 5 plus x plus this LCM divided by 5 plus x is 5 minus x, so it will be 4 into 5 minus x equals to 5. And this 5 we have transferred in the other side, it will be divided by 5. So 5 and 5 can be cancelled, we got 1. So in the next line it will be 5 plus x, 4 into 5, 20, plus minus minus 4 into x, 4x, a plus b, a minus b, it will be a square minus b square equals to 1. 5 plus 20 it will be 25 plus x minus 4x it will be minus 3x divided by 5 square is 25 minus x square equals to 1. Now if you cross multiply 25 minus x square into 1 it will remain same 25 minus x square equals to 25 minus 3x. So it will be minus x square this minus 3x becomes plus 3x plus 25 becomes minus 25 plus 25 equals to 0. This plus 25 and minus 25 can be cancelled. So we are left with minus x square plus 3x equals to 0. Now from this minus x can be taken common. So we are left with x minus 3 equals to 0. 
so either minus x equals to 0 or x minus 3 equals to 0. Here we got x equal to 0. Since speed of the stream cannot be 0, so this part we have rejected. Again x minus 3 equals to 0, so x equals to 3. Therefore, required speed of the stream is 3 km per hour. A passenger train takes 2 hours less for a journey of 300 km. If its speed is increased by 5 km per hour from its usual speed, find its usual speed. As we are to find the speed of the train, we can consider let the usual speed of the train be x km per hour and as given distance is 300 km. So time taken T1 will be distance by speed. Distance here is 300 and speed is x, so it will be 300 by x hours. Now it is given that speed of the train is increased by 5 hours, so new speed will be x plus 5 km per hour. So time taken T2 will be 300 by x plus 5 hours. So as given in the question, the train takes 2 hours less for a journey of 300 km if its speed is increased by 5. So when we have increased the speed by 5 km per hour, then time taken will be less. So previous time minus new time, it will be 2. So previous time is 300 by x minus new time is 300 by x plus 5. The difference will be equals to 2. So we can write here t1 minus t2 equals to 2. t1 is 300 by x minus t2 is 300 by x plus 5 equals to 0. And remember that here speed is more, so time taken will be less. Here speed is less, so time taken will be more. So we have to write t1 minus t2 equals to 2. From these two terms we can take 300 common. Then we are left with 1 by x minus 1 by x plus 5 equals to 2. From these two, if I take LCM, it will be x into x plus 5. This LCM divided by x, it will be x plus 5 minus this LCM divided by x plus 5 will be x, x into 1x equals to 2 by 300. This plus x and minus x can be cancelled. 2 and 300 also can be cancelled. So we are left with 1 by 150. So in the next line, it will be 5 by x square plus 5x equals to 1 by 150. Now if you cross multiply x square plus 5x into 1, it will be x square plus 5x equals to 5 into 150 will be 750. So x square plus 5x minus 750 equals to 0. So we got one quadratic equation and this equation can be solved either by quadratic formula or by middle term factorization. Here I am applying middle term factorization. Now here it is 750. 750 easily we can get these two numbers 30 and 25. 30 minus 25 will be 5 and 13 to 25 is 750. So instead of 5, we can write 30 minus 25 x minus 750 equals to 0. If you find it difficult to get these numbers, then you can use quadratic formula also. Now x square plus 13 to x 30 x plus minus minus 25 x minus 750 equals to 0. From first two, I can take x common. We are left with x plus 30. From last two, I can take minus 25 common. We are left with x plus 30 equals to 0. Now x plus 30 can be taken common. Then we are left with x minus 25 equals to 0. So either x plus 30 equals to 0 or x minus 25 equals to 0. From here, x equals to minus 30. But the speed of the train cannot be negative. So this part we are rejecting. From here, we got x minus 25 equals to 0. So x equals to 25. Therefore, usual speed of the train is 25 km per hour. Question number 3 is also of same type. A train travels 360 km at uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 km per hour more, it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey. Find the original speed of the train. Here we can consider let the original speed of the train be x km per hour and distance equals to 360 km. Therefore, time taken T1 equals to 360 by x because time is distance by speed. Distance is 360, speed is x, so time will be 360 by x. Now, it is given that speed of the train is increased by 5 km per hour. So, new speed will be x plus 5 km per hour. Then, time taken T2 will be distance by speed. So, it will be 360 by x plus 5 hours. As given in the question, when speed is increased by 5 km per hour, then it takes 1 hour less. So time 1 minus time 2, it will be equals to 1 because here speed is more. So time taken will be less. 
here speed is less so time taken will be more so t1 minus t2 equals to 1 t1 is 360 by x minus 360 by x plus 5 equals to 1 now if i take 360 common then it will be 1 minus x minus 1 by x plus 5 equals to 1 from this two i can take lcm x into x plus 5 this LCM divided by x, it will be x plus 5. So, x plus 5 into 1 is x plus 5 minus this LCM divided by x plus 5, it will be x. x into 1 x equals to 1 by 360. This plus x and minus x can be cancelled. So, it will be 5 by x into x, x square plus 5x equals to 1 by 360. Now, if I cross multiply, x square plus 5x into 1 is x square plus 5x equals to 5 into 360 is 1800 if this 1800 is transferred in the other side it will be x square plus 5x minus 1800 equals to 0 so we got one quadratic equation here also i am using middle term factorization so x square plus instead of 5 i am writing 45 minus 40 because 45 minus 40 will be 5 and if i multiply this two it will be 1800 x minus 1800 equals to 0 so x square plus 45x plus minus minus 40x minus 1800 equals to 0. From first two I can take x common it will be x plus 45. From last two I can take minus 40 it will be x plus 45 equals to 0. So if I take common x plus 45 then it will be x plus 45 into x minus 40 equals to 0. So either x plus 45 equals to 0 or x minus 40 equals to 0. So x equal to minus 45 and here x equals to 40. But the speed of the train cannot be negative. So minus 45 we are not considering it is rejected. So we are left with x equals to 40. Therefore speed of the train is 40 km per hour. Question number 4 is of the same type. So I am not showing this one. Let me show question number 5. A motorboat whose speed is 9 km per hour in still water goes 15 km downstream and comes back in a total time of 3 hours 45 minutes. Find the speed of the stream. Like question number 1 we can consider let the speed of the stream be x km per hour and speed of the boat in still water as given in the question is 9 km per hour. During upstream we know during upstream direction of boat and direction of stream are in the opposite direction. Here it is given stream is flowing at a speed of x km per hour and boat is moving at a speed of 9 km per hour. So during upstream net speed will be 9 minus x. So speed is equal to 9 minus x km per hour. Distance given in the question is 15 km. Therefore time taken will be distance by speed. So it will be 15 by 9 minus x hours. During downstream the boat and direction of stream are in the same direction. So speed will be 9 plus x. We have to add the speed of both. So net speed will be 9 plus x km per hour. Distance is 15 km. Time will be distance by speed. So 15 by 9 plus x hours. Now as given in the question total time taken is 3 hour 45 minutes. So we can write t1 plus t2 equals to 3 hour 45 minutes. T1 we got 15 by 9 minus x plus 15 by 9 plus x equals to 3 plus this 45 minutes we have to write in terms of hours so it will be 45 by 60. Now if I cancel 45 and 60 by 15, 15 3 are 45, 15 4 are so it will be 3 by 4. So 15 by 9 minus x plus 15 by 9 plus x equals to here if I take the LCM it will be 4, 4 3 are 12. 12 plus 3, 15, so it will be 15 by 4. Now, 15 can be taken common, so we are left with 1 by 9 minus x plus 1 by 9 plus x equal to 15 by 4. Again, if I take the LCM of 9 minus x and 9 plus x, it will be 9 minus x into 9 plus x. This LCM divided by 9 minus x, it will give 9 plus x plus this LCM divided by 9 plus x will give 9 minus x equals to 15 by 4 and this 15 will come here so it will be 15 divided by 4 into 15 this 15 and 15 can be cancelled plus x and minus x also can be cancelled so it will be 9 plus 9 18 here a plus b a minus b so s square minus b square equals to 1 by 4 if i cross multiply it will be minus x square plus 9 square is 81 equals to 18 into 4 it will give you 72 
so minus x square equals to 72 minus 81 so minus x square equal to minus 9 but x square equals to 9 if we take square root then x will be plus minus 3 but the speed of the stream cannot be negative so minus 3 we have to reject so we have to write speed of the stream can't be negative so minus 3 is rejected so x equals to 3 therefore required speed of the stream is 3 km per hour Question number 6. A motorboat whose speed is 18 km per hour in still water takes 1 hour more to go 24 km upstream and then to return to the same point. Find the speed of the stream. Let the speed of the stream be x km per hour and as given the speed of the motorboat is 18 km per hour. As all of you know, during upstream net speed is the speed of the motorboat minus speed of the stream. So speed will be 18 minus x km per hour. Distance given in the question is 24 km. So time taken T1 is distance by speed that is 24 by 18 minus x. Now during downstream direction of motorboat and direction of stream are same. Then speed will be 18 plus x km per hour. Distance here is 24 km. Therefore time taken T2 equal to 24 by 18 plus x hours. As given in the question difference in time taken is 1 hour. So T1 minus T2 is 1. T1 is 24 by 18 minus x minus 24 by 18 plus x equals to 1. Now if I take 24 common, it will be 1 by 18 minus x minus 1 by 18 plus x equals to 1. If I take the LCM of 18 plus x and 18 minus x, it will be 18 minus x into 18 plus x. This LCM divided by 18 minus x, it will be 18 plus x. So 18 plus x into 1 will be 18 plus x minus this LCM divided by 18 plus x will be 18 minus x. This into 1 will be 18 minus x equals to 1. This 24 we have transferred in the right hand side. So 18 plus x minus 18 minus minus plus x. Here it is a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square equal to 1 by 24. This plus 18 and minus 18 can be cancelled. So x plus x twice x by 18 square is 324 minus x square equals to 1 by 24. Now if I cross multiply these two, it will give minus x square plus 324 equals to 24 into 2x, it will be 48x. So minus x square minus 48x plus 324 equals to 0. If I multiply throughout by minus 1, this minus will become plus, this minus will become plus and this plus will become minus. So we got this quadratic equation x square plus 48x minus 324 equals to 0. Now if we apply middle term factorization then 48 can be written in terms of 54 minus 6. So it will be x square plus 54 minus 6 into x minus 324 equals to 0. x square plus 54 into x 54x plus minus minus 6x minus 324 equals to 0. From first two, if we take x common, we are left with x plus 54. From last two, if I take minus 6 common, it will be x plus 54 equals to 0. So it will be x plus 54 into x minus 6 equals to 0. So either x plus 54 equals to 0 or x minus 6 equals to 0. From here, x plus 54 is 0, so x equal to minus 54 and speed of the stream cannot be negative, so minus 54 is rejected. From here, x minus 6 equals to 0, therefore x equal to 6. Therefore, required speed of the stream is 6 km per hour. This is the last sum from this exercise, so that's all for today. In the next section, I am going to start sums of 4j. Till then, bye-bye, take care and wait for the next part.